Tell that that kid needed help. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Woo! Good morning, guys. Um, it's 5 a.m. You can hear the prayer calls in the um in the background. Today's video is going to be. A bit of a different one we're in Buddha Gaya which is the enlightenment place of the Buddha I'm here with Jay on a pilgrimage for two days with we're spending two days with a group of monks to um, learn more about Buddhism Jay's coming here to pray and to go to the temples and learn more about Buddhism and I'm gonna tag along for the ride and share the journey um, growing up in a Christian household this is going to be quite a different two days for me but I'm really excited to learn what there is to learn there's a lot of questions that I have I have no idea what we have in store for us today neither does Jay they haven't really told us anything so I think they're pretty much going to take us under their wing and we're going to see some temples meditate see the place of enlightenment for Buddha which is I believe right next to a tree for those of you who know the Christian religion quite well I would say that the place of enlightenment is literally a, a very important place just like how if you went to visit the birthplace of Jesus or where Jesus was hung on the cross like this is a significant part of the Buddhism religion and we're going to see that today and um, Jay was telling me that this is something is a place that only few Buddhists get to experience in their lifetime and if you can experience it it's something really special and beautiful so I'm honored to be able to experience that today and to be with Jay as he experiences that as well so yeah let's get this day started What he was saying to you in there, okay. can you just say basically what he said about just like everything? Okay, this is one of the mountain where uh, Buddha first started uh, his meditation pilgrimage as well. Uh, he arrived here when he was at the age of 29. Uh, so he meditated here about uh, six years. So uh, six years till that will be 35 years old. 
Uh, so during this course of time, uh, he meditated up in this mountain, uh, got respect uh, from the villagers around, and uh, there were followers too. So uh, every morning uh, in Buddhism, uh, we go uh, monks go on this thing called the alms round, where we donate uh, food. Uh, usually, it's during the um, uh, ayong zoom, which is breakfast time. Uh, so uh, as the days go by up in the mountain, he, uh, Buddha felt bad and like uh, he, the way he think is like what if the vi uh, what if uh, the villagers are giving him all their food to eat and what if he the villagers slash the followers doesn't have any food to eat so. Um, as the day goes by, uh, he stopped receiving alms. He just continued his meditation. He just ate like um, beetle nuts, leaves, uh, some things like that that you can find in the forest. Uh, very um, vegetarian-like, very vegan. Uh, once that happens, uh, one day he was meditating around the uh, one of the yard around here, as what the uh, monk told me just now. He fainted, right? Uh, so uh, when he fainted, uh, the, uh, there are a few angels that are um, watching over him. Uh, so uh, they say they say to themselves, "It's like, oh, um, we think Gautama Buddha is dead. So if he if he if he's dead, then um, he wouldn't reach enlightenment." Uh, he wouldn't have become a Buddha, the full Buddha. So um, they um, did some uh, miracle, revive him. So uh, that will be at like 35 years old already uh, during the ending of his uh, six year uh, tour up in this mountain. So after that, he continued on his meditation um, tour slash pilgrimage to other parts of India, right? Uh, but when that happens, uh, he just stopped eating. So um, if we can put up footage here about the uh, Buddha statue that we saw up in the mountain, um, you can see it's just all bones and skins. Yeah, so that's the history of this yeah. mountain. The history of uh, Gautama Buddha is uh, he was born in Nepal. So uh, he made all the way up. So this is pro uh, his first stop uh, in uh, India, uh, north east of uh, Bodh Gaya, where he reached enlightenment. So I wanted to just share a moment, moment that just happened. I don't normally like to film myself upset or 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 do it for some type of um, attention gain or anything like that. But I just want to try and be real with you guys. So we just had lunch and I came out of the restaurant and there was this kid, probably nine or ten years old, who reminded me of myself when I was younger because he looked he looked a lot like me like in the face and he wasn't wearing any shoes or anything just innocently innocently picking up rubbish collection um, probably for recycling so he can get some money and he just looked at me and said hello didn't ask <coughs> didn't ask for any money or anything and I I just <clears throat> I just felt obligated to not obligated I just felt the, the 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 need to help this kid out so I pulled some money out of my wallet and gave it to him and he was so grateful like he didn't didn't even inspect it one bit like he didn't even ask me for money I just helped him out and he looked me in the eyes and he said thank you sir thank you and It just... These situations, they bring you back to life. And you realise that... In the West, we complain about these small things, but... Really, we have nothing, nothing to complain about. <clears throat> you know, we're, we know when we're going to get our next meal. Well, for majority of people in the West, I should say. We know when we're going to get our next meal. We know when, you know. Here in India, it's raw, it's real. There's, there's proper poverty, you know. Thousands of people in India die of starvation every day. I'll put the number here of how many people. It's thousands, thousands. 
Yeah. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. You know, I've been traveling for three months now and I don't know, just a mixture of emotions just came out of me. And yeah, it can be hard sometimes, but I think it's important for situations like that when your heart's telling you to do something, you do it and I could tell could tell that that kid needed help. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, guys. So, as you could tell, I got pretty emotional from that. These are the real and raw things that you see in India. And it only made sense to leave it in this timeline because that's when it truly happened. But let's kick back into the story and start off where some friendly local kids led us to a temple. <laughs> so this kind boy was showing us the way to the temple because we got a little bit lost so he's like come 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 with me let me sh let me show you we've already found it but he wants to keep on showing us bless him All right, so Jay's kindly given me an explanation of the entire story of what happened before Buddha reached enlightenment. And I'm going to share that with you guys. I'm going to say this to the best of my ability and share the story of how Buddha reached enlightenment and what he did the days before he reached enlightenment. So essentially, he first started off here where you can see this temple and this cute dog sitting next to Buddha. It's quite funny actually when we came up we didn't expect to see the dog there but Buddha sat there for some days to meditate by the river and then he walked across to this other temple which you can see an image of a lady offering him rice. Now this is what she did for a number of days came up to feed Buddha and she actually lived in this castle right here. So every day she would walk from her castle all the way to this temple where Buddha was sitting and meditating and she used to actually feed the cows rice. One day Buddha was meditating there, he just arrived there actually, and she felt the need to give Buddha rice. So she did that for a number of days and then Buddha, when he decided to move on to his next destination, he went to this temple here which is called the Grass Temple. Now it's called the Grass Temple because this villager saw him. Buddha was meditating next to the river before he was about to cross it to reach the Tree of Enlightenment. And the man offered him some straw, which is all the man had on him. And in return, Buddha gave him some prayers and some wisdom. This goes to show in the Buddhist religion that it doesn't matter what you have, as long as you can give some something to someone, good things will come to you. So Buddha walked across the river, he walked on water, and walked all the way to the fig tree, which is where Buddha reached enlightenment. Buddha sat there for 49 days, meditating deeply, until he reached enlightenment, and that's where he became Buddha. And that's when the whole Buddhism religion was created. So overall, this pilgrimage, this journey was a massive experience for me. It was very enlightening. I didn't know much about the Buddhism religion until I came to Buddha Gaya, until I got to experience this with Jay. And like I said at the start of the video, growing up in a Christian household, I never heard that much about this religion and I believe that it's really good for people to learn about new religions. It's good for people to see the world and experience new things and why I felt enlightened on this trip and learn a lot, I could also see how Jay grew as a person. Him and the monk formed a very good relationship while we were there and it was awesome to see and film and document. While I was still close to the monk and Jay, I also distanced myself and I watched 
and I really saw Jay grow as a person. I could tell that this was a really important thing for him and his religion as Jay's Buddhist. And I could tell that Jay actually changed on that trip. There was a new spark in his eye and I'm really proud of him. So while this video was a insight into India and my travels and how crazy it could be, it's also a lesson for all of us that we should experience new things and experience it with our friends and with new people as well because why not so i'm gonna leave it there guys yeah. and as always <laughs> keep it real